What is up, weather enthusiasts? I'm your host, Pat's Path Predictor. Let's get right into the weather. All right, so here's the situation we have for you, ladies and gentlemen. We have two new things that we need to talk about today. The first thing we need to talk about is Tammy is now a hurricane. It is heading towards the Lesser Antilles, expected to bring hurricane impacts to those areas over there. The second thing we're paying attention to is another, yes, another area of interest near Central America over here. The gyre is look, it looks like it's going to be turning to the Atlantic this time around. And it looks like we could see some organization and development over there. And with that being said, we're going to go ahead and show you kind of the stuff that we're paying attention to at this current point. We're going to start with Hurricane Tammy, since this is obviously the biggest threat to land at this current point in time. There are hurricane warnings in effect at this uh, hurricane warnings in effect for Guadeloupe, hurricane warnings in effect for Antigua, Barbuda, Montserrat, uh, St. Kitts, and, Na uh, and Navis at this current point. Hurricane watches are in effect for Anguilla, St. Martin, St. Martin, and St. Barthelme. And tropical storm warnings are in effect for Dominica, our Anguilla, St. Martin, St. Uh, Martin, and Be uh, uh, St. Martin and St. Bartholomew, St. Uh, sorry, Saba and St. Astulis. So I apologize if I butchered any of those names right there or at this current point, but here's the situation. Maximum sustained winds are at 75 miles per hour, which is hurricane strength category one hurricane. Its current location is 165 miles east of Mart uh, Martinique or about 240 miles uh, southeast of Guadeloupe at this current point. It's pr the pressure is 992 millibars, and the current movement is at 70 miles per hour west-northwest. So this is something we need to pay attention to for at least for the next couple of days, according to the cone at this current point. Hurricane force winds extend out 25 miles from the center, and tropical storm force winds extend out 140 miles from the center. Data from NOAA and Hur Air Force Hurricane Re uh, Reserve Reconnaissance Aircraft indicate maximum sustained winds are at 75 miles per hour. So that's what we have. Gradual strengthening is expected according to the National Hurricane Center. However, based on the conditions that I am taking a look at, I do believe, uh, per I personally do believe that rapid intensification could be possible while it's near the Antilles at this current point, primarily due to the warm waters and the ocean heat content it's over. And not only that, the system's been a lot more got a lot more organized than to, uh, than yesterday. It's expected to peak as a high end category one hurricane according to the NHC, forty eight hours out, and then it's supposed to remain that way for the next two to three days before gradually weakening at that current point. So that's the situation we have going on. Here is the cone that we ha can pull up right here. Uh, at this point, in about about forty eight ou uh, hours from now, it's expected to finally start moving out of the uh, away from the Antilles. But until that point, you guys are in for a wild ride because this thing is now a hurricane. It is approaching you guys at this current time, and it's expected to make a turn either on the Antilles or very very close to that. Either way, you guys are going to get impacts. You guys are likely going to get hurricane impacts, especially for those areas in Guadalupe, especially in Guadalupe uh, North, all the way towards the uh, all the way towards Ingu over there so that's what we have going on at least with the, the cone right here we have the track models pulled up at this current time track models showing either a uh, either landfalls or direct close passes to the Antilles either way you guys are getting hurricanes force winds and based and also another thing I took a look at we actually sent this on storm uh, saw this on storms United one of my tropical teams sent this a radar image on storm uh, on the storms United tropical WX discussion channel and look at the structure of uh, uh sorry look at the structure of Tammy right now it already has a very well organized system right here that has a very well organized eye wall the eye is pretty clear the it's Already, uh, already looking very good for a low-end Category 1 hurricane at this current point. We also have Hurricane Hunter Reconnaissance out as of right now. If we go ahead and take a, uh, take a look at that over here, here's the situation we uh, that we have. We're we're looking we're looking at flight level winds approaching 70 to 80 uh, 70 to 80 knots. SFMR values cracking 60 at the last in the last hour or so. And in the meantime, we're we're also seeing similar stuff going on. This uh, uh, mission is finished. Uh, aircraft uh, Air Force 3 309 is finished, but this one is very interesting. Low end Category One hurricane. The flight level winds definitely support that as, at this current point, and the eye wall is definitely starting to build up uh, too. And you can also you also saw that on radar and on satellite as well. So we'll go ahead and pull up the satellite once again, get a closer look 
into that right here. Here's Tropical Storm Tam uh, well not Tropical Storm, this is Hurricane Tammy at this current point. Yeah, the structure on satellite looks a lot better. The eye needs to clear out uh, for sure, but ever the eye is defining developing just fine well underneath all that convection over there. And this convection's been going on for quite some time. So that's what we have going on with Tammy. Now we're going to go ahead and turn our our uh, gaze to this area of interest right here since we're over here. We now have a 20% chance of development in the next seven Seven days. An area of low pressure could form this weekend over the southwestern Caribbean Sea. Some slow development of the system will be possible before it moves over in, uh, inland over Central America by the middle to early to middle portion of the next week. 20% chance of formation in the next seven days. So this is going to be a very slow mover, and it's actually going to be in pretty decent conditions to develop with the water, the OHC, and wind shear kind of aligning for this thing to organize. So could this be uh, could this be our U named storm? We'll have to wait and see how that whole thing plays out. So that's the situation we have going on with all this stuff with Tammy and all that. But and before we get into the models, as we continue to get into this active weather period, be sure to check out my friends over at Prestige Weather Consulting. They do individual one on one weather consulting catered to your local area. For more information on that front, be sure to check them out in the link in the description down below, and be sure to use the code Predictor for fifty percent off your first month. All right, so now we're going to go ahead and get into the models. Here's the European model at this current point. We're going to run the first three European GFS CMC and then get to the hurricane models, so that way we get a better understanding of what they're thinking. At this point, I normally would not use the models because at this point it's too close to land, and I'd usually like to now cast this kind of stuff. However, I want to get a look at the models and kind of get a better understanding of what they're gauging at this current point. And with that, we're going to actually going to move in a little bit closer to the Western Atlantic. And here's the situation we have right here with the European, the European keep, please do keep that and uh, keep in mind that this is like behind when, when it comes to intensity, it's already a hurricane at 10 o'clock in the morning. And this is already a thousand one. Yeah, this is, uh, but we can kind of uh, use it uh, as a better track model than anything. So here's the situation. The European is having this thing, making a very close pass to the Lesser Antilles before moving out to sea as either a strong tropical storm or a weak hurricane, according to what the European is seeing. However, we all know that this thing is stronger than what the European is already anticipating, and this was initiated at 0Z last night. So we'll go ahead and give you the 6Z to give you uh, see what that also is playing out. So the 6Z is a little bit better, although the 6Z actually has this thing moving even closer, potentially making landfall in several of the Leeward Islands before turning out to sea and keeping around Tropical Storm to a Category 1 hurricane strength at that current point. So that's the situation we have with the European. Next thing we're showing you is the GFS. GFS has been pretty interesting to say at the very least. The GFS surprisingly has been pretty solid when it comes to the intensity, but the track has not been solid at all. The GFS is actually pushing this even further to the east than it already is, which if we go ahead and show you the cone... And unless it make, takes a massive bank to, uh, to the northwest, that kind of turn is not going to happen. That kind of track is not going to happen. And this thing is still moving west-northwest towards the Antilles. It expects to make a close pass, even according to the National Hurricane Center at this current point. And the GFS is continuing. Although I, what I will say is that the GFS is, is showing potential major hurricane strength once it exits the Antilles. I think it could be a little bit earlier than that if it does that. I'm not saying it will, but if it does that because the warm water. In fact, we'll go ahead and show you the conditions we have right now. Here's what we uh, here's the situation we have the global sea temperatures right here, 30 plus degrees Celsius, where this thing is right now, it's around 29 to 30 or 84 to 86 degrees Fahrenheit right now. And it's expected to stay in that borderline all the way through the Antilles until it moves into, uh, until it eventually moves out to sea at that current point. Meanwhile, this uh, South, uh, this Central Americans thing that's expected to form 30 plus degrees Celsius waters. If we go ahead and show you the ocean heat content where, uh, where Tammy is right now, 150 OHC. So, and so what I'm saying is this, because this is already looking pretty well organized, and the fact that this is already pretty, um, how do I put this? It's already organized for Cat 1. It's all, like the eye is pretty clear, to, uh, pretty uh, fine in my opinion. It's developing just fine. And same with the structure itself. We could potentially start seeing something, uh, some strengthening happening uh, potentially into the overnight as the diurnal maxing uh, uh, with uh, continues with uh, the hurricane system over here. So that's what we have. And with the Central American stuff, about 75 to 100 OHC. So the sea surface temperatures are more than enough. OHC is more than enough. If we go ahead and show you the wind shear, 
where the system is, oh yeah, there's more than enough weak wind shear for this thing to organize and develop quickly near Central America, where Tammy is, there's weak wind shear to keep this thing developing and organizing at this current point, so I wanted to go ahead and point that out for you guys over there. So with that being said, we're going to go ahead and continue with the model runs. The next thing we're showing you is the CMC model. CMC, we're going to use the 12Z CMC since it's the most, um, uh, most up-to-date at this current point. The CMC, I will say the intensity is a bit off because it's already a hurricane at this current point. It's a 992 millibar category one hurricane, but the track is not out of the question at all. And it, this intensification phase is not out of the question at all. It is expected to become a mid-range uh, to high-end category one hurricane as it's exiting the Lesser Antilles over there. So that's what we have going on with the CMC at this current time. Now we're going to go ahead and show you some hurricane models. We'll start with the HMON, the HAVS models, and then the HWARF if they don't just bug out like they usually do. So here's the HMON model at this current point. The HMON actually, their starting intensity is pretty accurate, so I'm really happy about that. So now we'll show you the main sea level pressure at this current point, continuing to strengthen into, uh, into a hurricane Although the HMON is expected to remain a Category 1 hurricane around 75 to 80 miles per hour as it's moving through the Antilles before moving out to sea and either strength and strengthening from there. But we'll have to wait and see how this whole thing plays out. The track for the HMON is actually something I do I do like. It's in that aggregate and it's not really wonky as it was yesterday. The model run wasn't. So that's something I do like to see out of the out of the HMON. Next thing we're going to go ahead and show you is the H uh, the HAFS A at this current point. The HAFS A is uh, has been pretty interesting. Uh, pretty interesting, showing some uh, showing a decent uh, or a structure at this current point, showing signs of organization development. Maybe a mid range Category One hurricane as it's impacting the Lesser Antilles at this current point, and then it exits out to sea and starts strengthening from there. Maybe to Category Two strength briefly, but we'll have to see how that plays out because. Because rapid intensification is absolutely not out of the question at this current point in time. That's the halves A. The halves B has been a very interesting model to say at the very least. The halves B has always been the more aggressive out of the four we're going to show you. And we'll ex explain why. The half B is showing really some quick strengthening. 980s millibar system as it's making landfall near Guadalupe. And then makes landfall more of the Antilles Islands over there. Around 980s, 990s millibar system. Before moving out to sea. And then showing signs of organization and strengthening as it's moving over there. 980s, 990s millibar system for the half B. Last small we're showing you is the h wharf right here. And the h wharf we're going to go ahead and show you organization, development, stre uh, strengthening at this current point. Point, uh, 980s millibar system, although it's moving further out to the east than the rest of the models are at this current point in time. Still going to bring lots and lots of impacts to those areas, especially especially uh, over here in the Antilles, in Guadalupe, potentially Dominica, and the Leeward Islands over there with those tropical storm force winds if the h wharf is the correct model. We'll keep you updated here on the Pat's Path Predictor channel as more information continues to come out. But with that being said, we're closing the video out right here. I hope you enjoyed it. Be sure to leave a like, subscribe to the channel if you are new. It helps us out, helps us make more videos like these. The goal of this channel is to get more people engaged with weather. But with that being said, have a wonderful day, guys. Be safe.